Hello there, my name is Ben Marks from Venture Caravans and today I'm going to be showing you around the Adria Adora 623 DT Salva. For the 2019 season, Adria have introduced the Salva model which features a twin axle. It's just over 27 feet in length and it's also 8 feet wide like the Isonzo and the Thames in the Adora range too. It's got a maximum weight of 1900 kilos, an unladen weight of 1608 which gives you an impressive payload of around 292 kilos. You can see the front there. You can see the big panoramic sunroof on the front. And when we go inside, you will see how much light that really does let in. So we're starting at the front, it's got Adria's traditional long A-frame. Not only does this help to increase tone stability, but it also allows you to fit a bike rack as well. You've got a large full width front locker. We'll open that up. On all of Adria's front lockers, you've got three point locking. So you've got a lock in the centre and then a lock on either side. And that just helps keep your gas locker nice and secure. Inside the gas locker itself, you've got your wheel brace, your leg winding handle, space for two gas bottles and two sturdy bottle retaining straps on each bottle. A nice solid metal floor and then you've got storage space either side. So you've got plenty of space for your aqua rolls, your waste masters and all your other accessories there. As we're going down to the side You'll see it's got the silver body with GRP sides and that makes it nice and dent resistant so it's really solid and you've also got attractive graphics that run the entire length down the side there. Starting in the front we've got a gas barbecue point so within there you can plug your, your gas barbecue. Next to that we've got a wet locker and at the back of that wet lock, you've also got a 230 watt socket that you can use. Alloy wheels are standard. And then above that, you've got your LED awning light. And then beneath the windows for the bunk beds, we've also got a storage locker that gives you access to underneath one of the bunk beds. So you've got a good amount of storage in there as well. And we'll go around to the back. Down to the back. And then we'll continue on to the offside. On the offside at the rear you've got your cassette toilet compartment and your flush compartment there. Towards the centre we've got your fridge vents, so this has got the Thetford 140 litre fridge that so is a tall fridge, so you've got your fridge vents top and bottom for that. And then underneath the front window you've got your battery locker and your water pump in there. So we'll head into the inside and show you a few of the features inside. So as we head into the Sava, you'll see the kitchen directly opposite you. Round to the right hand side we've got these side dinettes and then opposite that we've got your fixed bunk beds and then your washroom at the rear. But we'll start at the front and you've got your large seating area. Lift up drinks table there a nice decorative silver trim all the way around and some slightly different bolster cushions for the 2019 season and you've also got your armrest as well and a little feature that Adria have also added is the magnetic strips into the back of the armrest cushion just so that it holds it in place and doesn't fall away 
You can also see the large panoramic sunroof. You can imagine how much light that's going to let in. And surrounding that, you've got a nice leatherette trim with three LED downlighters. And above the cupboards, you've got LED strip lights on both sides. And the strip lights then continue over the kitchen and into the back area. Towards the front of the caravan, you've also got a socket on the front shelf there. It's a great place to either power your TV or charge your mobile phones. Opposite the seating area, we've got a small sideboard with a TV bracket in place. That's great to hang your TV. So that can either extend out into the lounge or can be flipped around to watch it from the dinette area as well. And then behind that, we've got all the controls for the caravan. So you've got your Audi control heating panel there. And after that, you can control your room heating and your water heating. Your voltmeter, your master switch, your water pump, your mains light switch. You've got two USB ports there. A 12 volt socket and a TV aerial point, and then light switches and another 230 volt socket. All what you expect to see on an Adria. Inside the TV bracket, you've got a locker there for your freestanding table. So that slots nicely in there. And then you've got a storage cupboard with about seven shelves. So you've got a great amount of storage there you can use. And then next to that you've also got your wardrobe. And for 2019, you've also got the standard status TV aerial there inside the wardrobe. So opposite the wardrobes and the storage cupboards, you've got the kitchen. So first of all, you've got a large pull-out wire rack. That's going to be great for tins, sauces and everything like that on there. Nice and sturdy. You've got a separate Thetford oven and grill. And grill compartment in there. And that comes to stand with the grill pan. Further storage in the kitchen. You've got two large domestic style pull-out kitchen drawers. Then a drop down flap at the bottom where you can store your pots and pans underneath there as well as your gas isolation taps. Got your large tall Thetford fridge with internal freeze compartment. That's about 140 litres in capacity so it is a big fridge compared to most of the caravans. And there's your freezer box at the top with ice cube tray. On top, you've got the traditional Adria 3 gas burning hob, which is then integrated into the sink with your stainless steel sink. So any spilt food or anything like that can be nice and easily wiped into the sink area and this grill um, plate will remove. The worktop space there as well. And above the kitchen, you've got storage for all your cups and plates and wire racks built in. Then also, as standard, you've got the microwave as well. And a nice big gas strut there, just to support the door. And the kitchen area is then finished off with a nice and attractive backlit LED panel there as well. Let's it up there for your kettle and toaster. And then we'll go towards the rear of the caravan. So the Sava features a side dinette. For night time, this table unclips and feet, uh, creates a single bed, sorry. But it's finished off with a nice cloth trim that is now standard, um, particularly on the front uh, of the caravan. And the other edge of range. Again, good amounts of storage on either side. So you've got some big cupboards, two on that side. The roof light. Three LED down lighters. And then on this side, you've got your fixed, fixed bunk beds. So underneath the bottom one, as we saw earlier, through the side access locker, 
you've got a large amount of storage under there. A nice heavy duty aluminium ladder that can be removed. And also the top bunk there. And you can really see how large these bunk beds are, particularly in comparison to other British manufacturers. And then you've got some little night lights on there as well. And then we'll go into the bathroom at the rear. Again, very much of a standard outdoor style. So you've got the hotel style sink with um, chrome effect mixer tap. Okay, more storage underneath. So you've got a big double cupboard as well as a medicine style cabinet on either side there. And then round to the left of this other, you've got your toilet, your Thetford set toilet and chrome blue brush and blue brush holder and then round to the right we've got the shower cubicle in there with a nice and attractive backlit LED mirror as well and you've also got a solid shower door as well there that just folds away so you've got a good amount of space in the bathroom without compromising on the living space as well around the caravan again. Front makes up into a double bed as well. And to make the double bed up, pulls from either side to form a solid base and then the back rest drop into the centre there. And I'm just going around to just show you the rear again. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Cheers.